Welcome back to CAD CAM Legend. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how can you use the design library inside the SOLIDWORKS because we have a lot of tools inside this that is already matted but you have to just drag them into your interface. Remember one thing? That you have to use the SOLIDWORKS assembly whenever you are going to deal with the design library. So let's have a look at the design library. How can you use it? I will just click on the design library and you will have such kind of menu will pop up with you you have to click on the toolbox scroll down we have two categories one is inches and one is metric it's mean in millimeters so mostly we are dealing with the millimeters I will click on millimeters we have bearings bolts and screws nuts o-ring power transmission sources retaining rings and washers let's have a look at one by one when I click on bearing we have subcategories ball bearing and roller bearing so I will just only discuss only one of them so when I click on the ball bearing so we have subcategories as you can see from here you can see them by yourself let me just drag one of the bearing over here so you can just make any change inside this by using the feature manager design tree and the size will be given to you you have to choose the proper size this bore diameter is 1.5 outer diameter outer ring diameter is 4 units the thickness of these rings is 1.2 number of balls either you can use the full there would be no gap see and this time I'm just use 8 and when I click on the simplify you will not see the balls inside let's have a click on the details you have to use the 8 gauge separator and I will say ok this time I don't need the second one I will cancel it see let me just delete it for now and when I click on the magic let's have a look on the hex head let me just drag this for now and let's you can just make change inside this by using the feature manager design tree SNM 10 bolt and washer face our chamfer one as you can see from here chamfer washer face C it's up to you the length as you can increase decrease from here thread length 30 through all schematic simplified no thread will be there cosmetic threads and I will just choose the schematic threads for now I will say ok I don't need the second one let me just delete it for now when I click on the design library so I will click to the nuts we have different kinds of nuts let me just drag this one for now and you have to choose the proper size SNM10 you have to use the schematic simplified no threads will be there and cosmetic threads this time let me choose schematic threads for now and I will say ok I don't need the second one and let me just delete it for now just I'm telling you how can you do this ok by saving your times because whenever you are going to model this by using the part geometry inside the SOLIDWORKS so it will take a lot of time from you people and when I click on the power transmission sources we have different kinds of gears, spur gears, helical gears, or like pinion gears, bevel gears so let me just drag a helical gear over here as you can see here this is a helical gear and you know very well what a helical gear is the teeth are inclined not straight and let me just specify it by the module which is 2 number of teeth are 20 you can increase decrease it and the helix direction is right handed see left handed it's up to you pressure angle you can keep it let me just keep it 20 it's better and half style none see 
and a nominal shaft diameter is 15 let me just decrease it for now see and we have a keyway if you want you 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 can ignore it okay but this time let me keep a square one short to 20 and I will say okay this time I don't need the second one see it's really very well it's like a superb helical gear and you can just drag any of the gear like internal spur gear rack and pinion and spur gear let me just drag a spur gear also for you people to understand see and you can just make change inside them same is the methodology and I will say okay I don't need the second one see it's a spur gear so how can you just drag it simply by not modeling it by not making it it saves a lot of time of you in fact again and when I just click on the retaining rings and let me just drag some of the washers plain washers like this okay so you can just make change M16 or M2 okay the specifications are given over here and I will say okay I don't need the secondary one and as you can see here so this is how you can just drag a lot of component into the SOLIDWORKS interface by using the design library and then toolbox components okay so you can use inches as well it's up to you so hopefully you got the point how can you use the design library and how can you just drag the components by making editing inside them so remember one thing if you are new on my channel so please don't forget to subscribe our channel and become a part of our community because it's free of cost thanks for watching